close view of the first stage falling away. The camera is mounted on the second stage. Liquid hydrogen is the fuel for this stage and burns much cleaner than the high-grade kerosene used by the first stage. This is why you can't see any flames, even though the engines are burning. Next, the ring that connects the two stages falls off. In the bottom of the picture, clouds cover part of the Florida coast. Cape Kennedy is about in the middle. In a short time, the rocket will be out of camera range, but the rest of the flight will be similar to what you've already seen. The second stage will drop away, and the third stage will boost the payload into orbit. Now they settle down to the routine of the outward flight. We're trying all these things that we didn't have in Gemini, like toothpaste and shaving, and uh, we're really having a ball up here. Roger. All dressed up and no place to go. Oh, we're going someplace. We can see it getting bigger and bigger all the time. On Earth, we waited. Waited for Apollo 12 once more. Apollo 12, Houston. We're getting a spectacular view of that eclipse. We're using the uh, sun filter from the GNN optics looking through it. It's unbelievable. Then Apollo 12 hit the atmosphere of Earth at 25,000 miles an hour. Okay, it's right on the point. Right, we concur, Pete. But the log of Apollo 12 does not end with splashdown. It only begins. And on the moon, an experimental station called ALSEP sends back its data, each experiment representing a milestone in our knowledge of the moon. The lunar ionosphere alias side has been turned on and uh, I'm very happy to say it is functioning perfectly. The solar wind spectrometer has been functioning, of course, since the also has been turned on. The seismic experiment, is, as has been reported, is functioning in all respects properly. Yeah, I think it will represent a major discovery of completely unanticipated about the moon. We're going to have to, to throw the book away and uh, begin over again, which seems to be the case for the moon in general. Apollo 12 was a milestone in manned extraterrestrial exploration. It achieved its pinpoint landing as close as possible to its selected target marked by surveyor. It set a pace and a pattern of scientific exploration that future missions will not only follow, but will go beyond.